Hi guys, my name is Vlatka and today I'm gonna show you how to change colors at the edge of an alpha bracelet. Hi guys, my name is Vlatka and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you the way I'm changing colors at the edge of an alpha bracelet. To do so, I'll use the pattern number 84511 on bracelet book. And to make this bracelet, I'll be using the flat alpha and straight edge techniques. In this video, I will not explain how to tie basic knots for friendship bracelets. So if you'd like to learn how to make all four basic knots for friendship bracelets, I'll link a tutorial in the cards and in the description below. If you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss my new tutorials. Now, are you ready for some knotting? Then let's begin. Let's take a look at this situation first. After we made the first seven knots in the second row, and the last knot we made was with the purple string, we then need to make one knot with the pink string, and then change the color back to purple and finish the row with it. To do so, take the pink string, make the first half of the backward knot with it, Then take the purple string, move it to the left like this, and make the second half of the backward knot with the pink string. Now take the pink string and move it out of the way by placing it underneath the last base string and pull it slightly to the left to make sure it is underneath the bracelet and out of the way. Then take the purple string and make the backward forward knot with it onto the last base string to finish the row. Then continue knotting until you reach the left edge of the fourth row. Let's take a look at this situation now. After we made the first seven knots in the row, and the last knot we made was with the purple string, we then need to make one knot with the blue string and then change the color to pink and finish the row with it. Then in the next row, we need to change the color to blue and start the row with it. To do so, take the blue string, make the first half of the backward knot with it, then take the purple string and move it to the left underneath the last base string and out of the way and make the second half of the backward knot with the blue string. Now, since we do not need blue string anymore, move it out of the way by placing it underneath the last base string and pull it slightly to the left to make sure it is underneath the bracelet and out of the way. Then take the pink string and make a backward forward knot with it onto the last base string to finish the row. Straighten the row with a ruler and move to the next row. Now we first need to move the pink string out of the way and to do so move the first base string aside, then take the pink string, move it to the right underneath the rest of the base strings and pull it slightly to the right to make sure it is underneath the bracelet and out of the way. Then take the blue string and make a backward forward knot with it onto the first base string on the left edge and continue knotting until you reach the sixth row. Let's look at this situation now. Since we finished the fifth row with the purple string and we need to start the sixth row with the blue string, we first need to move purple string out of the way. Then we take the blue string and make one knot with it at the beginning of the row. Then change color to pink, make one knot with it, and then change color to purple and continue knotting following the pattern. To do so, take the purple string, move the first base string aside, and move purple string to the left, underneath the rest of the base strings, and pull it slightly to the left to make sure it is underneath the bracelet and out of the way. Then take the blue string and make a forward backward knot with it at the beginning of the row. Then 
then take the pink string, make the first half of the backward knot with it, then take the blue string, move it to the left, underneath the base strings, and out at the place we start knotting with, with it again. And make the second half of the backward knot with a pink string. And then change the color to purple and continue knotting following the pattern. And that's it! That's the way I'm changing colors at the edge of an alpha bracelet. In case you decide to use this method, let me know via Instagram or comments below. And in case you found this video useful, like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss my new tutorials. Not with you next week. Bye.